are two girls. The one on the left is Corliss Archer. Isn't she cute? The one on the right is her good friend, Barbara. She lives across the street. She's an adorable child. Lovely, sweet, charming, and gentle. I kicked him right out on his ear. <laughs> because of this test? Test your compatibility is a scientific test. It's been used on both sexes, men and boys. But you and Morton have been going together for so long. I am a type C. Morton is a type U. We're scientifically impossible. I'm telling you, Corliss, you better test Dexter. Oh, that's silly, Barbara. I love Dexter. And Dexter loves me. Believe me, if you don't test Dexter, you're liable to get married and have children and grandchildren. And suddenly, when you're 70 years old, you'll, you'll discover you were meant for each other. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Did you get it fixed? <laughs> you wanted to spend money for a carpenter. I told you I could fix it. Uh, it looks fine. If you finish with the glue, I'll put it away. Right. <laughs> I guess a little of it must have spilled. Furniture, too. No, no. I'll fix it myself. Chicken. Well, then why won't you take the test? Oh, well, just because I won't. There's the nose in there! <laughs> just fix the chair. The glue isn't dry yet. I didn't sit on it. No, Dexter, you didn't. You're a good boy. But you're sitting in my lap. Move over! <laughs> Still arguing about that test? I won't take it. Well, it seems to me to be a very good test. After all, it was compiled by some of the leading college professors in the country. I don't see why oh, you dear. don't... Don't you think it would be better if Corliss and Dexter made their own decision about this? You're perfectly right. After all, you kids are old enough to settle your own problems. I don't know what you're afraid of. I took the test and I'm a type B. Now let's find out what type you are. I'll never know if we're compatible if you don't take the test. Well, as far as I'm concerned, scientific tests are for guinea pigs, not for people. Ah, no influencing. Well, I'm not trying to influence them. It just happens to be my opinion, that's all. Scientific <laughs> tests. Piffle. Sure. Piffle. <laughs> not piffle. I am not chicken. And, um, now, I'm not afraid to take a little test. Who's scared? Not me. I mean, I'm not scared. Now, that's the spirit. 
Corliss, let me have that test. Now, next day, in ten minutes, we'll know what type you are. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice for a woman to have a man around the house. But the way Mr. Archer is wrecking things, Mrs. Archer is lucky she still has a house around her man. <laughs> well, next thing, that's the last question. <laughs> All right, Corliss, figure out what type Dexter is. Oh. Hello, dear. How are you? Keeping yourself busy these days? I thought you were going to let them make their own decisions. No, I didn't influence them. I just sort of helped give Dexter the test. Piffle. Well, stop piffling. All right, if you want the truth, I deliberately gave Dexter the compatibility test just to prove that science is right. It's silly. Well, the science can't be wrong, Mrs. Archer. When it comes to science, the scientists have got science figured down to a science. <laughs> now, what type am I? You're a Y, and I'm a B. B's and Y's are utterly incompatible. I never heard anything so ridiculous. My advice is to throw that silly magazine away and forget the whole thing. Y your mother's right, Corliss. Let's forget about the whole thing, yeah? Huh? 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 <laughs> Don't you see, Dexter? Our love has been a lie. All the time you were whispering sweet nothings, and holding me in your arms and kissing me. You really didn't like it. <laughs> Holy cow, I sure had fun being miserable. It's all over between us. Oh, Corliss. No speeches. No recriminations. No regrets. Just go quickly. And quietly. Goodbye, Dexter. Goodbye, Corliss. Oh, Corliss, can't we talk this over, please? Dexter, don't you see you're just prolonging the agony? Yeah, but... Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Poor Dexter. Well, that can happen when you take a chance on love. As the poet says, when love goes well, it takes life's pains out. When love goes ill, it beats your brains out. Just awful. No, it's worse than awful. It's awful, awful. What can we do about it? Well, I think I better send for the plumber. The plumber? For Corliss and me? <laughs> I was talking about the garbage disposal, not about you and Corliss. How can you think about garbage when my heart is broken? Everything will be all right. I'm sure of it. Do me a favor, Dexter. There's a thingamabob <laughs> under here that you turn or something. See if you can find it. No, no, sure, Mrs. Archer. <laughs> you know, I may not be right for Corliss because I'm type Y, but she doesn't have to be so choosy. She's not getting any younger. <laughs> she can't throw me around like an old shoe, you know. I won't stand for it. I'm telling you right here and now, Mrs. Archer, if, if Corliss marries some other guy, I'll break our engagement. <laughs> It's, it's all right. I just ended the pipe a little. Doesn't hurt a bit. Hi, Mom. Oh, oh, oh my head. Oh, it's the agony. Every bone in my head is broken. What seems to be the trouble, Mr. Franklin? Oh, I... <laughs> Mr. Franklin. Boy, next thing you want me to call you Miss Archer. I'd prefer that you did. It might make it easier for us. Oh, Corliss, come on. Let's, let's kiss and forget this whole thing. It was so sweet of you to help, Mom. I appreciate it awfully. 
Well, goodbye, Mr. Frank. <laughs> Mr. Franklin. <laughs> yeah, but I know how I can make her call me Dexter. I'll change my name to Dexter Dexter. Let her fool around with that. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Archer. I'm just not in the mood to fix a garbage disposer. I feel more like getting into one. <laughs> I understand. Report him for leaving the scene of an accident. I try and use the eggs in here as soon as possible. Well, what's that for? I'm going to fix the garbage disposer. Oh, really? Is there, there's something wrong with it? It didn't work this morning. Well, don't worry. You don't have to call plumbers, not with me around. Uh. Oh, really, dear, that's a very complicated mechanism. Don't you think I'd better call the plumber? That'll be fixed in a jiffy. <laughs> you know, Dexter sure looked unhappy. Does Cora still feel the same way about that test business? Well, she's certainly giving him a rough time. And what bothers me is that she's enjoying his misery. I wonder if this wrench is big enough. <laughs> what do you mean, enjoying his misery? Uh, don't you think I'd better... No, no. No, I'll know. I'll fix it. <laughs> what did you mean, De Corliss enjoying Dexter's misery? Well, I don't think Corliss believes in that test any more than I do. Hmm? She's not worried about losing Dexter. She's just dangling him on a string. She's torturing him, and she's enjoying it. That's cruel. Well, I, I, I can't believe that a daughter of mine would do a thing like that. I just can't believe it. <laughs> you know something? I wouldn't be a bit surprised that that is what your daughter is doing. What? Well, making Dexter miserable, enjoying it, dangling him. Don't you worry. I'll put a stop to it. I'll attend to that little matter. Now. It worked. <laughs> I told you I'd fix it. Now, fill it up. I want to test it. All filled, Harry. Shall I turn it on? Never mind. And now, back to Meet Carlos Archer. Anything personal, Dexter. But you're the worst date I ever went out with. Vice versa. It was horrible, wasn't it? The worst. Ugh. <laughs> what time will you pick me up tomorrow? Same time. Oh, holy cow, Barbie. Do you think we should go on seeing each other? I mean, then. I like you. I think you're a very nice kid, but Carlos is the only one for me. I just can't seem to think of you as a girl. I'm not. I've been wasting an awful lot of money on nail polish. <laughs> Look, Dexter, we've just got to keep on seeing each other. Mr. Archer's idea is just perfect. We've got to make them jealous. It's the only way for me to get Morton back, and it's the same with Carlos and you. Yeah, I guess so. It's an awful price to pay. You know, 
also vice versa. Well, I guess I have to hang around till Carla sees me. I hope Mr. Archer knows what he's doing, because what I'm doing isn't what I want to be doing. Don't look now, but Corliss is watching us from her window. Holy cow, you're right. I gotta get out of here. You can't leave now. You'll ruin everything. But you don't know Corliss. She'll get jealous. Well, that's the whole idea. You want her back, don't you? Yeah. Well, then, act like you're having a wonderful time with me. Smile. <laughs> How do I look? Terrible. <laughs> Put your arm around me. I can't. I can. <laughs> Kiss me. Do I have to? <laughs> Just as repulsive to me as it is to you. She's watching. Kiss me. Don't you think we're going a little too far with this thing? You want her back? Yeah. Mm, kiss me. With my lips? Yes. Relax now, she's gone. I can't go through that again. I just can't. <laughs> oh, the things I do for love. Good. No, no, no. <laughs> now Morton's watching us from underneath the street light. We've got to make him jealous too. Can I have a rest period? <laughs> Morton's left. I think we made him jealous, too. Thanks a lot, Dexter. Thank you, too, Barbara. You know, you're a good guy. <laughs> How dare you get so familiar? Remember, I'm Morton's girl, you fresh thing. Well, it's impossible to understand them. But that's probably a good thing. Because if you did get to understand them, you'd never believe what you understood. <laughs> Janet. What's the matter? I want you to see how Mr. Fixit fixes things. Dexter just came oh, in. What? Watch Corliss fall into his arms. I don't know where to begin. Well, uh, why don't you just begin at the beginning? <laughs> I saw you and Barbara last night. You did? Well, isn't that a coincidence? We were out together. Oh, she's a nice kid, that Barbara. <laughs> and what's that? Just a few mementos of our past. The first present you ever gave me when I was six years old. Your own doll. I love that doll. Here's a box of candy you gave me when I was seven. We were sick for three weeks. <laughs> Here's one of the first mud pies we ever made together. We were sick for six weeks. <laughs> Here's the ukulele you gave me on my 11th birthday. And I gave you the strings on your 12th. <laughs> The nutcracker you gave me on my 13th birthday. Yeah. That was right after you broke your tooth. <laughs> Mr. Corliss, will you please tell me what this is all about? I can't stand it anymore. Besides, this stuff is getting heavy. All right, Dexter. I'll be brief and to the point. Giving you back all the things you ever gave me. So I can forget you forever. 
Huh? I want you and Barbara to be very, very happy. Yeah, yeah but, 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 but Corliss. Uh... <laughs> you sure fixed it, Mr. Fixit. What is supposed to happen like that? Mm. Corliss. Oh, go now, Dexter. And don't look back. I want to remember you just as you are. But Corliss, I... child, you found out that you weren't scientifically suited to each other. Now, instead of 18 years too late, like I did. What? Mom, what are you talking about? Well, your father and I took the test of, well, I'd just rather not talk about it. Janet, what? Mom, you didn't have to take the test. You know you're completely compatible. 18 years. Down the drain. Oh, that can't be. I, you two belong together. You're wonderful together. You are my mother and father. That test is wrong. Well, it can't be, dear. All those professors, all those years. I don't care what those professors said. Janet, maybe she's right. Well... Maybe we do belong together. Well, oh, you must, Mom. You belong together, as much as Dexter and I belong together. Of course. Dexter and I belong together. And I'm going to get him back, right now. <laughs> I'm sorry things didn't work out for you, Dexter. Morton and I made up. Everything's fine with us. That's nice. I'm very happy for you, Barbara. But I'm afraid Corliss and I are just all through. There's nothing else anybody can do. It can't be as bad as all that. Isn't there still a chance? No. No, nope. we're, we're through forever. I joined the Foreign Legion, if I was a foreigner. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, Barbara? Still is a chance. Here comes Corliss. Maybe you didn't make her jealous enough. Huh? Oh, baby, please, Barbara, it's time my lunch. <laughs> but you've got to. Uh, Dexter Franklin, you come with me. Yeah, but, uh, you can't have him. He's my type. Type Y. Never mind that. He's mine. Girl, please get the physical. There won't be enough of me left for anybody. You come with me. You come with me. Yeah, girl. You come with me. <laughs> You can have him. What's left of him? <laughs> oh, my poor, poor Dexter. Will you ever forgive me for what I've done to you? Oh, Corliss. We belong together. Oh, Corliss. My little Corliss Warless, happy wappy to get her Dexter Wexter back. <laughs> Corliss is so happy wappy. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter Wexter is so 
pretty witty. Not half so pretty witty as my Corlacy Worlacy. My little Corlacy Worlacy is the is the most beautifulest, beautifulest little cutie woody in the whole wide earthy worthy. Not half so cutie woody as my Dexter Wexter. <laughs> You're the cutest, woodest Dexter Wexter that ever ever. <laughs> Would you kids in with me? <laughs> Would you kids like to take another test? This is much better than the other one. Much more scientific. 